Well, I have uh, something here that I ordered from GearBest.com, and I actually paid my own money for it, so they didn't supply this. Um, and I don't know if you can see that because the lighting's kind of crappy in here, but it's a Tron XY or a Tron C, whatever you want to call it, uh, 3D printer kit. I think this might be an older uh, kit because they have one with a slightly different um, model number and they pretty much discontinued this one after it sold out so I'm thinking it's probably an older kit so we'll look at it and see what we get and make sure everything's good I'm using my phone and I'm hand holding it because I have no other way to hold the phone so it could be a little shaky so let's just take a look let me actually put the phone down I'll uh, take all this stuff out of the box so I can get at it easier here's all the stuff laid out on the table and we have motors they're a lot heavier than I expected I'm going to look these up later. They look like pretty good quality motors, but I'm going to look up the number that's on them. And just check out the specs. And I think I'll price all of these parts individually and just see, you know, see if this is a good deal to buy it as a kit. Looks to me like... Yeah, those are they're, um, lead screws and not just plain old threaded rod, it looks like. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get into this thing. And let me explain a little bit about the sale that I got on uh, GearBest. They had the Australian version of the printer on sale, which is why I got this Australian plug. And they included a adapter, which I'm not going to use. I'll just use just a North American plug. But anyway, so this is the Australian version. And before we get into looking at the individual components, I'm not going to take everything out, but I'll give you a quick look at what's here. I'm very curious to know if the only difference between the kits, like say the UK, the Australian, and the North American version, and all the other different versions, if this is the only difference. So let's just pull this power supply out, if I can, without shaking the camera all the hell. There we go. Yeah, I can see what people mean when they uh, talk about these power supplies. Yep. Yep, that is the only difference. Check that out. So it's a 110 220 power supply. So, um, yeah, buying the Australian version is not a big deal at all. All I need to do is get another cord, and I have a bunch of them, so it's not going to be that big a deal. So this uh, power supply doesn't really seem all that great, but I'm going to use it for the time being. So we get a heated bed, and they already have tape on it, and that's a, that's a little weird. Maybe it's an older kit, I guess. Oh, there's a, there's a card micro SD card with an adapter. Probably not a very good card, but good enough for files for 3D printing. So, there's the type of um, there's the type of uh, heated bed they gave. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. I might upgrade that later on depending on how well it works and I guess that just goes on top like that, which is, I don't know, it'll probably work fine. 
and I watched a few videos with uh, people building these 3D printers that are quite similar to this one and they were talking about how bad these parts here were they don't look overly great and those look smaller I don't know how big those rods are but that doesn't look like eight millimeters but it might be anyway so yeah they don't look too bad and I will see see what happens so there's 3d printed parts bunch of screws some more uh, some more bolts and nuts uh, wire wraps and belts and cable ties I'm assuming that this chintzy little thing is uh, probably for the filament I probably won't use that I can find something better than that cheap ass little thing I can probably bend that with yeah I can bend that with my fingers I won't do it just in case maybe I might have to use it there's the USB cord oh and the that's the <clears throat> um, main control board anyway this was supposed to be a <clears throat> a black acrylic uh, 3d printer now there's some stuff still in there i had to pop that out i guess but yeah this was supposed to be black and it's uh it's clear which i don't really care about but anyway so there's the acrylic that uh, the bed attaches to. I might change that eventually, depending. Mm. Looks like it might be slightly warped, but I'll check it out. Yeah, you never know. Whatever. So these <clears throat> are for the x axis I think the x-axis. No, the x-axis already has them, so... These are for the y-axis, and there's the LCD, where's the damn uh, SD card slot for this thing, must be on the board. So here's one motor, I did I already show this. So this motor here is a... Uh, Geez, my eyes are too bad to read that small writing, so I'll look it up later. So there's a fan. There's a... A belt guide, or whatever you want to call it. And that's kind of a weird place to put the cable for the LCD. Why the hell over here? think they'd have put it in with the LCD, but anyway, no biggie, and that, and here's the extruder, boy, that's heavy, it's all metal by the looks of things, well, not all metal, actually, maybe it is, that might be metal too, yeah, I think that is, I was expecting a 3D printed uh, extruder, but that's a that's all metal. I'm not really sure what type of hot end that is. I'm no expert, so maybe somebody out there can tell me, but, but yeah, that thing is heavy. So now on to the other box. So we get limit switches. I have some extra limit switches if uh, if I need them because, like I said, I was going to build one. So I bought some parts and then I just gave up because I couldn't really find a good deal on decent motors. So who knows, maybe I didn't get decent motors in here, but hopefully I did. Not exactly sure what all these are, but... 
just miscellaneous uh, small acrylic pieces, I guess. A little pissant screwdriver. A couple Allen keys of various sizes. And a little, another little screwdriver. This one actually seems like a pretty decent screwdriver. I thought this was supposed to come with nippers, with side cutters, but I don't see any. So, I don't see, I don't see any issues yet. I don't see any uh, parts that are messed up or any of that. Some of these have a little bit of the paper missing, but I'm taking that shit off anyway, so who cares. So there's that one. Anyway, so that's all the parts. And I think in the next video we'll put her together.